what is up fpg fam welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another tower fantasy video now global spas approaching on august 10th and people are stressing on who to choose for their ssr selector i understand you don't want to make a mistake so in today's video i hope to in the simplest way possible break down on who you should choose for your ssr selector on launch for global release now it's a little more in depth so you have to bear with me on this one and a massive shout out to Cytus and the Ida Cafe on Discord. I implore you or encourage you to join the Discord. It's going to be linked in the description down below. They have great guides and information for you that's going to help tremendously. And once again, massive shout out to Cytus for taking the time to sit with me on speaking about this, a CN veteran for Tower of Fantasy. So I do truly appreciate all the help. Now, with that being said, let's go ahead and jump straight into it because like I mentioned, it's a little more in depth than you would think because any one character can house three weapons and they do fit into categories. So those categories are shield break, DPS, and support. And what you wanna do is make sure that you're well-rounded, meaning you want to have one weapon that fits into each one of those categories. You don't wanna have your character housing two weapons or three weapons from the same category. For example, you don't wanna have uh, all your categories or weapons be just DPS weapons or just shield break or just support. You want to have a shield break weapon, a DPS, and a support weapon. The reason being is because that's going to give you the best opportunity to do the most damage, to take on world bosses easier. It's not going to be as much of an uphill climb for you, and you're going to be able to clear content and progress quickly if you're well-rounded rather than if you're just all support or all DPS, right? So with that being said, how do you get that done? Well, that's a great question. So here is my recommendation for the launch of the game and what I encourage you to do. Once again, just a recommendation. Now, we all know that there is a built-in 30 guaranteed pity. And then of course, you can still hit your 80 pity after the 30 guaranteed, which is fantastic. Meaning you have the opportunity to get two SSRs right off the bat. You just have to farm up those gold nucleuses. So my recommendation is that you hit the 30 guaranteed pity and you see what ssr you get from there and then you go to the 80 pity and see who you get there now in the most optimal scenario or situation you're gonna get an ssr that fills at least two of those three categories for example at 30 pity you get a shield breaker and at 80 pity you get a dps so that way with your ssr selector it's an easy choice you go with the support and you have a great start to your account right now that's likelihood that's not going to happen so what happens if you have a weapon for your 30 and your 80 pity that fills the same category for example at 30 pity you get a dps weapon and at 80 pity you get a dps weapon well that's a great question so there is a bit of a priority list that you can go off of if that happens to you so if you get a DPS weapon for both your 30 and 80 pity. The priority list should be this for you. And this is just once again a recommendation. You should prioritize shield break over DPS and DPS over support. So in this scenario or example or hypothetical, if you get a DPS weapon at 30 pity, a DPS weapon at 80 pity, then you should prioritize for your SSR selector the shield break weapon. Or if you get let's say for example a shield break at 30 pity and then a shield break at 80 pity then you should prioritize a dps selector for your ssr right i hope that's not too complicated i hope you're still with me on this so that is the kind of the priority list or the rule of thumb that you may want to follow when it comes to those scenarios now i know the next question is going to be so if that does happen to me and i'm following this priority list of shield break over dps over support when it comes to my SSR selector, which character or simulacra in each category should I prioritize? Great question, and hopefully this helps. So when it comes to the shield breakers, from the SSR selector, it does appear as if King and Meryl are going to be your best shield breakers that you can choose. King is going to be best early on, but Meryl is going to be better later when shields get tougher. So it depends on what you want, right? If you want to be early stomping then king might be the way to go but if you want to have longevity and you know have your investment pay dividends down the road in the future meryl might be the best option for you it just really depends right now when it comes to the dps it appears that samir and cobalt are going to be the two best that you can choose with your ssr selector and they're kind of right on the same uh tier in terms of where they land 
Now, Samir does appear to be better at lower stars, but Cobalt will do more when you get to three stars and with her chip. So once again, in this scenario, just like with King and Meryl, Samir might be better early on and you might be doing some early stompage and really killing it. Uh, but Cobalt might be a better investment in the future once you start to get maybe some more copies and you get her chips. Once again, it might just be a preference for you on what you want to do. Now, when it comes to support, it does appear as if Subasa and Claudia will most likely be the two that you're looking for. And those are kind of on, once again, like Samir and Cobalt, kind of on the same tier. And they both seem to carry you throughout the early and mid to future uh, end game. So that is basically how you may want to go ahead and tackle the SSR selector. So just to break it down one more time for you when it comes to your account and the weapons you have on your character you want to be well rounded you want to have a shield breaker a dps and a support that buffs your damage you want to make sure that you hit the 30 and the 80 pity to see who those two ssrs are optimal scenario is that you're going to get one in each category and then you know exactly what to do for your ssr selector to fill it out if that doesn't happen for you you just go off of the priority list from shield break to dps to support and when it comes to those characters, uh, the characters that I mentioned earlier are just recommendations, but at the end of the day, you could choose who you like out of each category. It just really depends on your preference, who you really want. For example, you might like Meryl over King just because of aesthetic reasons. Understandable. You definitely just go who, for who you want to. But I will end the video by stating this. With the SSR selector and the launch of Global, don't stress out too much about it it's early in the game the game just began what you should really more be focused on is just enjoying the story enjoying the game enjoying trying to figure out things and exploring the world i wouldn't be too focused on uh, your ssr selector making sure you get the right one once again i understand wanting to not make a mistake and invest wisely and once again hopefully this video helped you but i think at the end of the day instead of stressing about it you should just focus on having fun because you have to remember that this ssr selector where you're choosing these characters are probably going to be outclassed down the road anyways they're going to be a great investment in the future you're going to be enjoying it and then there are going to be future characters that come down the road that you're probably going to like much better they're going to power creep and things of that nature so just keep that in mind and once again hopefully this video helps you for future characters you know in terms of that priority list you can then determine who you want to have or need to have for your account if you're missing good shield breakers then you know that a character down the road might be more optimal for your account same for like support and dps so once again hopefully this video was helpful hopefully i broke it down in simple terms for you easy to understand i know it was a little complicated there in the middle but anyways Hopefully it's helpful. Anyways, guys, I'm going to get on out of here. Thank you so much for all the support. Really does mean the world to me. We will be going live on August 10th for Tower Fantasy Global Launch. So I hope to see you guys around. Um, it's just been great. The community has been great. You guys have been great. Really, really is awesome. So I'm going to get on out of here. Remember to stand out, be different, have fun, go further beyond in everything that you do. My name is Cody, but you can call me further. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.